So here we are, Matt and I, we're live here at the NEC in Birmingham at Vapor Expo 2016, uh, second show of the day. Um, we've been flying around like paper kites. In fact, Marco and Dave are out there now, even now, whipping up people so to come in and be Matt interviewed and, and you'll be seeing them very the shortly. NEC they are the people around us, but Matt, what have you discovered during the day? I've discovered I've got a problem uh, though. Second show of the day. Next to you, um, I think I need to talk we've been pocket. flying around like paper kites. Yeah, well, in fact, Marco and Dave well, are out there that. now, no, even no. now, whipping up people to come in and be interviewed and you'll be seeing them very shortly. They are the people around us. I'm going to look at it in more detail and see what you've got on the show. I might well have one, yes. I might have seen yours and gone, hmm, I fancy one of them. Yes. Yeah. I fancy one. So we got them. Right, so what's going to happen now is we're going to be bringing people in to be interviewed, bringing their new products to show you what's new here at the NEC for Vapor Expo 2016. One, two. Level okay? Yes. You doing this one, okay? Yeah, it looks like. I've done this before, but alright. Yeah, okay. I'm fine. Yeah. You on? Yeah, I'm good. We're rolling, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're going to cut this bit out, are you? <laughs> okay, we're, uh, we're at the uh, Vapor Expo 2016 on, uh, on stand 203, and uh, it's the second part of our Saturday little special from the Vapor Expo. And I'm joined now by, uh, what's your name, darling? Marion. Marion. It's Marion, and she's from uh, Mr. Donuts. Mr. Donuts. Mr. Donuts, yes. And you, I see you've got a nice little display there. Display, yes, so yes, yes. I'll try it, yeah. I'll be, tr I'll be trying all of these momentarily. <laughs> okay. So Marion, tell me a little bit more about Mr. Donut. Mr. Donut, we actually manufacture from California, all right? We came up with the flavor, six, half a dozen flavors in one package. So it's like a donut flavor. So you can choose your donuts, either you want to have one flavor or an assorted flavor. So you can, um, the, and it comes in a box. And the wholesale pricing is like, what, 12 pounds for, for a wholesale price? Is that, is that the wholesale or the wholesale, retail? Yeah, wholesale. Okay, so what's the retail price? The retail price? for in, the American, American is $29.95. So if, I don't know how to convert that in pounds, but <laughs> it's about 30, 35 pounds for the whole 90 ml in a box. Okay, yes, uh -huh. so 35 pounds for, for 90 mils. 90 yeah. mils, And what strengths do you do? We do from 0 to 12 milligrams. 0, 3, 6, 9 and 12. Okay, mm -hmm. and how about the uh, VG to PG ratio? Yes, 70% 70, 70 VG and 30% PG. Okay, yes. so 70-30 uh, PG VG mix. Uh, so talk us through the flavours, Marion. Okay, now we have the straw, we have the mango. This is a little bit of a, this is an acquired taste. It's got a little bit of mango and doughy flavor in it. All right, mango, mango blitz, they call it. Mango blitz, I'll, I'll give each one of these a go for you. <laughs> I'll take him on for the team here. I do like a bit of donut, I have to say. As we talked about on the previous show, to be fair. Let's have a go. That is definitely mango. Yeah. Needs a little bit more power though. Uh -huh. Let me bump it up. Okay, go ahead, yes. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. So. 50 watts, you're almost out of battery on this device. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's give it another go. I've got to say that's really fruity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really fruity. The, the, the dough in it. Yeah, can I get the dough on the back end? Yes, but the, the flavour that you get first of all is the mango. Okay. Um, that's very juicy. Okay, what have we got next? The next one is here's the, this is Choco Loco. So it's like a chocolate donut. Oh my it's, God. Now it's difficult to, to do the donut and the chocolate as well. So this is like a, a touch of chocolate in there. So the chocolate's not over empowering at all. Okay, I'm just going to bump the, uh, okay. the wattage up slightly. That last one was struggling. Okay. Chocolate donut. Yeah. Chocolate donut. Chocolate. Now that's different. That's that's more donut on the in and, and chocolate on the out. To be fair. Um, <laughs> thank you, Dave Dawn, for that um, wonderful piece of wisdom <laughs> from the sofa. 
Let's have a, I'll have another go. Yeah, it's definitely more donut on the inhale and then the chocolate on the exhale, Mr. Dawn. OK, now we have moving on. It's donut in and chocolate out. <laughs> and he tripped over the telly again. <laughs> this man is just manic. Oh, my goodness. OK, Marion, what's now next? Now custard, custard flavour. Now, I do like a custard donut, I have to say. Yeah, that's a little bit creamy. Okay, uh, this has got a full battery, so we could be good on this one. All right, okay. No, no it's definitely custody, mm -hmm. I have to say. I'll give it a bit more power. Okay. We like more power, Marion. More power, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My power is a little bit low, because I want to really want to taste that flavour. So. There we go, 45. All right. That's quite a nice vanilla, mm -hmm. vanilla creamy custard. Um, yes, very nice. Very okay, nice, moving on. Moving on. <laughs> I'm glad these are all low strength nicotine. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the glazed donut. This is like sugary dough. It's flavors. Glazed donut. Yeah, glazed donut. All the things I like. What can I say? <laughs> And that's got nice. Nice sugary. It's got yeah, kind of a sweet crackly sugar taste <laughs> um, on the inhale. I've got to say, these are all very nice. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on now. The next one is the blueberry more. Blueberries. Yeah, you might say blueberry more, but it's only a slight taste of blueberry. Okay, a, a, a slight taste of blueberry. Okay, let's let's give this one a go. <laughs> I hope you're not all baked out now. <laughs> now, there's there are a lot of juices out there that say they're blueberry, and some don't deliver. This delivers. I have to yeah. say, you really <laughs> get the blueberry yeah, taste. Yes. Yeah. Not overpowering. Just just the right amount. Is yeah. he sweating? I think he's sweating, right? Yeah, yeah. He's already with it. <laughs> 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 he is sweating. I am too, underneath his cap. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> thank, thank you, Dave. Do you see what I've got to put up with, viewers? <laughs> what I have to put up with? I've got to put up with him. It's bad enough when he's 200 miles away in the studio, but when he's actually next to me, oh my God. It's all good. <laughs> now, our last right, flavor final is one. strawberry field. Strawberry. So it's just like, like a, a strawberry. Is just like a strawberry jam, jam or yes. right? Okay. And you check the wattage. 46, 48. Let's give it a go. Okay. <laughs> I can taste strawberries. Okay. So you know you get some juices that taste of strawberry and it's like a really artificial flavour taste. This tastes like strawberry jam. Um, all very nice indeed, Mary. Yeah. I've got to say, my favourite out of all of these has got to be the mango. The mango, Is that yes, the mango? Yes, that's my favourite as well, yes. Let's, give that, let's give that another go. <laughs> Yeah, they're all very nice, Marion, but the, my favourite there the mango, is yes. definitely the mango. The mango, yes. Yeah. This one also, if you want just the mango flavour, it comes just with the mango flavour, that's what you want. So you can pick your, pick your strength, the nicotine strength, pick your flavour, and that's what we deliver in the box. Yes. Very good. Well, so what stand are you on, Marion? Uh, uh, 280. They're on, they're on 280, yes, so if you are... 280. If you are thinking about coming uh, tomorrow, Sunday, then uh, come down 280. Mr. Donuts. Yes, and look for Marion. Thank you. Marion, thanks oh, very thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Hello. I'm here Hi. with Jack. Yes. Jack from Goosey. 
Now, Goosig have got a new tank on the market, who he's now showing off. So tell us about your tank. Yeah, this tank that we call Tolo, uh, the top view is very easy. You just uh, twist it on, twist it off, then you can do the refill. Uh -huh. And also, you can shut down the juice flow, so during the transportation, it's no leaking at all. And the most advantage for this tank is that you can use the Aspel at 90 coil, Triton coil, the Sans Hercules coil, Playboy coil. It's universal coil, so very uh -huh. easy to find the coil. Excellent. Now, what's the availability of these? Are you selling them in the UK right now? Right now, this, this honestly, this is the first time I've been UK. Uh -huh. I did a lot of shows in the past in USA, yeah. but this is the first time. It's very good. Okay. I like the people here. They are very friendly. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll trying. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we are trying to find some distributor here. Uh huh. I think I got some. Good, good. Yes, that's good news. So we hope to be able to see them available over here soon. Yes, thank you. Now, I have had a go of these. Yeah. But I'm going to have another go. Do you mind? Yeah. Face <laughs> five on. Yeah. Right. Okay. Juice is that? That's really good juice. Ah, uh, it's from my friends, Murphy. Right. This is their, their new brand, uh, Chuck Puppy. Right. It's very good. Very it good. is very good. Anyway, this is about the tank, not the juice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it really produces well. It's it's a good tank. Flavors, Thank you. Flavors are excellent. This. I don't know if it's the juice or the tank or both. I mean, it's, it's really good. So this is the, is this the larger one or is that the yeah. smaller one, yeah? This is the smaller one because uh, we heard about when we were in USA and in China that the European will have a new regulation yeah, for two TPA, right? Yeah. Uh, it will be active in a loop member, it's right? Uh -huh. Any tank that you can only hold two mil. Yeah. So this tank, it's a, right now it's only a sample, but we will in, uh, release in the end of this month. This is only two mil, uh -huh. and also it's a top fuel, very easy, the same way, just twist it on, twist it off. Now, will, if, if, if customers buy the two milliliter version, yeah. will they be able to buy an extension kit to make it bigger? Uh, I think the regulation just... Uh, no, uh, basically what you do is you sell them a two milliliter tank and yes. there's an add-on kit they can put on afterwards, that gets around it. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I think I will work with my engineer yeah. to get a bigger one. We just need an extension. Yes, extension. Yeah. Or a tank that bowls out. Yes, I think just uh, increase the, the glass, yeah. that will be fine. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to have got the two mil anyway. <laughs> Superb. Lovely. So, what do we expect to see them retailing out if you've not really got a price in mind yet? You mean the retail price? Yes. Uh, I suggest this one is uh, twenty-five pound okay. on the shop. Okay. Yes. That's pretty reasonable, I'd say. Yes. And um, the coils are they going to come in different metal materials or that sort of thing? Uh, my coil is the uh, dual stainless steel coil. Okay. So, point five you can go to eighty watts. Uh -huh. Voice where you can go to 100 watts. And of course, it's stainless steel, you can use temperature control as well. Uh, normally, I whip at the width, at watts. Yeah. Uh, I think it's what to work with the temperature control. Yeah, stainless steel should work. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. So, currently available. And what stand do you want? Sorry? What stand do you want? What stand number? Oh, my post number, right? Yeah. It's a 208. Right. So, if you come down tomorrow, 208, come pay this gentleman a visit, get yourself a rather good time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, and uh, with me now, I've got Paul from McFlavors. The Muck or Mac? McFlavors. McFlavors, if you that. And, um, right, you've got like a stall over the back there, I noticed. Yeah. Okay, do you want to tell us a little bit about McFlavors and what you do? Yeah, definitely. This is initially, it's a uh, Maltese company. Right. We now have production facilities over in Italy, so everything's produced in Italy and then shipped over to the UK. 
and yesterday was the UK launch for us. Oh right, okay. So, so we've literally just landed into the UK and started yesterday. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, okay, so tell us about your range. Okay, uh, we've got a range of ten different flavours. We're starting off with three tobacco flavours and some fruits and right. anise seeds and everything else that we've got there. The main thing for us is it's a patented formula. So instead of PG, we use a PD. So right, that's a new one on me, you have to explain that. PD is something very new and it's something we patent as well. So this is actually okay. a corn ex extract. Right, okay. So what you end up then is something which is a completely natural product. Right. And there's no non-invasive, there's a non-invasiveness of flavour and uh, no I, I'm, I'm very keen to try this. So do you, you have some with you? We did, yeah, we brought some samples over for you as well. I've got a dripper. Do you want to be, hold the microphone? That's a really bad idea. <laughs> so we've got uh, five flavours here. Red, licorice, aniseed, strawberry and national. What, what's national? So these two are the tobacco flavours. <laughs> this one's maybe a slightly stronger tobacco flavour, the national, right. and the red's maybe sort of uh, a little bit more, a little bit more um, okay. in the middle ground. Uh, and then obviously we've got the licorice, aniseed, and strawberry in there for you as well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold. I'm gonna go with the national, I think, and give that a try. Okay. And this is PD. This is yes. So what? what remind me, what does PD stand for? So it's actually the drift that we use as the corn extract that we, we use to produce it. Right. So okay. Of PG, we use this corn extract PD to actually formulate the product. And that's eight milligram. What I'm going to do, because that's already covered in something else, is I'm just going to dip it on the back of my hand and uh, give it a taste of that. But I'm, uh, I'm very curious about this. Yeah. It's a very strong flavour, isn't it? That is. That will put hairs in your chest, that one. Yeah, 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 very strong. I'm going to have to uh, try and vape some of this. Definitely. So, uh, so you launched yesterday, you said? We did, yeah. We yeah. launched in the UK so, yesterday. And has, uh, has it been a success for you? It's been a very, very good show, actually. Yeah. yeah, we've been really, really impressed. Yesterday was fantastic. We launched the B2B day. Right. We got a chance to meet with a lot of different shops, and uh, they will be coming to stores close to close by very, very soon. Excellent. That's that's excellent. And the event itself, how have you found that? You, I, I bet you've been busy at your own stand. and. We haven't, to be fair, really seen much more of the, of the event than, than what we've seen so far, but what we have seen, we've been actually really, really impressed with. The organisation's really good, there's some great people here, yeah. great stands here, and everyone's getting on with each other, so it's been really, really well. That's my conception as well, I have to say. I mean, we were here last year, uh, and apart from the, the scale of it being it's probably about double the size of last year, I would say, and, uh, and the organisation has gone very, very smoothly indeed. They're getting quite good at these things. They, they've actually, actually they have done a very, very good job. It's been very well organised. I haven't noticed there being any hitches all through it. So right. It's been very impressive. Paul, thanks ever so much for bringing those for, across for us. And uh, wish you all the best with your new, your new business. Thank you very much. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank you. One, two. OK. Right, back again, uh, and this time I've got uh, Amandina, and she's from uh, Vincent Vapes. They're actually just across from us at 286 uh, at Vapor Expo. Um, so if you are coming tomorrow, head and see us, and then go across and see them. Amandina, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So tell us a bit more about uh, about the range. I know from your accent, we know you're from France. Yeah, um, that's so true. So tell us a bit more about your company and about Vincent Vapes. Uh, as you said, we are manufacturer from France, from Bordeaux, southwest of France, since 2012. So we are one of the first French manufacturers of e-liquids, um, and very well known for our uh, quality requirements on safety and traceability. Okay, safety and traceability, that was, just in case you didn't catch that. There's a lot of noise in the background. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, um, and that's it. So we've got one brand, which is Vincent Vapes, and another, which is made all exclusively with natural flavors, and another brand, which is Circus, which is a mix between synthetic flavors and natural flavors. Okay, I've got some here um, on the uh, on the table here that I've got to, to try, uh, and the first one I've got here is mint tea. Now I've already tried these over uh, over on no stand, and I have to say um, the flavors are, are amazing. This one is a uh, mint tea. Um, I've got this at uh, it's a 1.2 coil, so I've got it at about 25 watts.
I'm getting I'm getting tea in the background, but what I'm getting is a really sweet spearmint mm -hmm. um, from the mint. Um, yes. It's not harsh. It's really, really subtle uh, and uh, quite mellow. Um, I'd quite happily drink this, actually, if it was a mint tea. It's a very nice mint. And as you guys know, I do like mint and menthol um, and fruit. Um, but I'm not really into teas. Um, but this isn't a strong tea. Um, it's more of a mint than a little bit of tea, which is quite nice. I've got some other ones, so I'm just going to swap over. And what have you got? To, what are the other ones you got for me, Amandina? I got the Grand Maître, which is another kind of tea. Uh, it's a chai tea with lemon and mandarin. Um, so it's well, very different from what you can find on the market. That's why I choose to uh, let you take this one. I won't even try and pronounce the name of this because my French pronunciation is rubbish and I don't want to look really stupid. Um, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and have a vape. It's the Grand Maître. Now, I've never actually drunk chai. Um, I know what it is, but I've never drunk it. Um, but if it tastes like this, then I quite like it. And it's just about run out in here, so I'm about to put some more in. I'll go to the next one first. And the next one is the Grand Jeu. Do you want to just put some more into that for me? And yeah, then, um, It's the, the, the Grand Jus. Grand Jus, which is a uh, pear, apple, and maple syrup. And like I said, I've already tried these uh, across at, uh, at the stand. Um, and um, <laughs> impressed is, um, is a word I would use. They are very tasty. So, here we go. And you're really getting apple and pear, but it's more pear than apple. Um, you know, you get some that are, and I said this earlier on in the show, uh, about um, synthetic tastes, uh, like the strawberry, synthetic strawberry, that is quite, can be a bit acrid. Um, the, the pear gets you as soon as you inhale this. Um, and I've got to say, it's very tasty. It's certainly a winner, I have to say. There's been no juices that we've looked at um, over the past two days uh, that we haven't liked, um, which is quite strange because usually there's a couple that we just don't take to. Um, but I like these. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I know that makes you very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll try another go on this because it was getting a little bit hot. Back on the chai tea, lemon and mandarin. Chai tea, lemon and mandarin. This recording and live as live stuff is uh, it's all good, isn't it? Oh yes. Like I said, if chai tea tastes like this, I'd quite like to drink some. <laughs> um, all very nice, very nice flavours indeed, Armandina. Um, thank you so much for coming along and uh, showing us. If you are coming to Vape Expo tomorrow, um, pop along and see us at 203 and then nip straight across and see the ladies at uh, 286. Thank you so much. much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> you, you had to drive her. Hello again, and uh, now I'm joined by Ollie from uh, Captain's Reserve, and you would have seen Ollie on last year's show um, when we did Vapor Expo, but also at Vape Jam. Uh, if you remember, Ollie does the skulls, yes, and um, Gary Dibley and I looked at all of these juices last year, and uh, there's a new one to the range now. 
So, uh, Ollie, first of all, how's it been at this uh, Vapor Expo? And uh, what have you got on your stand? Uh, hello, Michael. It's been really good, to be honest. Um, the crowd's been lovely. B2B day was nice and steady. And uh, B2C day has just been mental. Lots of people, so it's been lovely. Yeah, it's been very, uh, very busy today, isn't it? I mean, yeah. the, the queues this morning, and you'll see this in some VT a bit later, probably. Um, but it was... Uh, <laughs> They were just ready to come in and there was just this huge throng of people, like 10 wide and God knows how many deep. Some people have been queuing since 4 a.m. I mean, yeah, crazy stuff. I mean, you know, with Vapefest, we've seen people being there from six o'clock to get the like, free goodie bags and stuff. Um, but, you know, there were no goodie bags when he came in to, to Vapor Expo, apart from with the magazine and things, which Vapor Charles TV are actually in, uh, page 36, I think. Um, but yes, uh, only because I've looked, <laughs> you'll see three decent photos and a photo of me. Um, but there you go. So, your new juice to the range is this one, which is um, Mutiny. Yes. Tell us about Mutiny, Ollie. Cool, so Mutiny is a uh, slightly different take. It's strawberry yogurt cereal bar. So, main flavour is basically strawberries, a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of oats. We always say it's really genuine. This one. So, it's good. And as many of you know, I like my oats. Oh, yes. Um, I'm a big fan of the oats. <laughs> Let's give it a go because Ollie's got it in his tank here. And I think I'm just using the last of his battery. <laughs> You really get, it's, it's a bit like, it's about like a strawberry milkshake with like a flapjack on the end, yeah. I'm getting, which is obviously oats. But it's, um, it's that kind of cooked oats, not porridge, but baked in the oven oats I'm getting. Slightly sugary. Yes, which is kind of flapjack is made with butter and syrup and oats. Yeah. Um, and they're very tasty. Um, that's really nice. Yeah, that's a nice addition. Thank you. Um, the rest of them, obviously, you know what my favourite is. Yep. Monkey Business Monkey is business definitely my favourite. Uh, so I've got a bottle here for my you. Favorite. Oh, lucky, I've even got a bottle. <laughs> it's mine, Mr Dawn. It's mine, all mine. <laughs> um, I love Monkey Business. It's a great juice. But that addition to the range is fantastic. So what have you got on offer on your stand? Have you got any offers on? If you're watching this and you want to come on the Sunday, um, what are you offering? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, the Skulls currently, we're doing them a slight discount. We're normally £20 in shops. We're doing them for £15 a Skull, or three Skulls for £10 each. So, if you come with a couple of people, then all chip in, you get a Skull for half price. And with the 10ml bottles, we're doing three for £10 today, or uh, £4 for a single bottle. So, a slight discount on a normal. Very good indeed. What sizes are in the, in the Skulls? 40ml. 40 40ml. 40 yeah. So, what are you going to do after May next year? Okay, so all of our liquids, they're tested, they're going through the toxicology risk assessments, emissions testing, that's all covered. Unfortunately, with the packaging, we're going to have to change it up a bit, we've got some exciting things planned, but I can't tell you too much yet. But I will say, we're not going through the standard bottle, and we're not going through the standard box. It's going to be a little bit more exciting than that, a little bit more Captain's. Always something different from you, Ollie. <laughs> so there we go, Ollie from Captain Reserve. What stand number are you on, Ollie? Uh, 296, just around the corner. For He's on 296, so if you come and see us on 203 and go straight across, you'll find Ollie. And be careful, because he's got sand on the floor. <laughs> I almost went arse over elbow. Anyway, for now, Ollie, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. So, there you go. Dave and I are closing this show down tonight. Oh, yes. So, uh, you've seen, God, so much stuff. We've had donut juice. We've had, we've had juice in skulls. We've had juice in France. We've had... Hell's Kitchen Damnation. Genius. Hell's Kitchen Damnation. Well, genius. I'm going to find this guy. Look at the bottle. Is that, that's 10 mil, isn't it? It is 10 that's mil. That's TPD sized, everybody. Uh, look at it. TPD size, yes. Look. And we've had, we've had new devices that are coming onto the market. I, I've literally just took the cellophane off this one. Okay, what have you got there? That's a Hell's Gate Touch, 200 watts. Ah, now we haven't featured that, Dave. But maybe we can feature that tomorrow. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. There seem to be a lot of them around. Yes, the there's been a lot, of, a lot of devices purchased, uh, a lot of juice consumed. I'm actually not sure what I bought, but I do know there's a lot less in my wallet than when I arrived. There's a lot less in his wallet and a lot more in his bags, yes. 
So uh, that is all from us for today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. We so we'll, we'll see you soon. Say goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, Dave. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, guys. See you later. <laughs>